cinema fan that was oh i mean a digital chaos fan we're not that, even trying that's that's <laughs> like super disappointing because they yeah. they should have had that game they really should have but um do you think I they're think gonna they're, be on tilt after that or do you think they'll be able to like collect themselves going into this match uh history and experience says they're gonna be on tilt do they have they i can't re i'm not sure but like do they have anyone who's like that strong kind of like no commanding voice in the no. locker room no no no. All right, then you better be worried if you're a Digital Chaos fan. <laughs> and you're going against no. the Elite Wolves now, who have a pretty different play style than what we saw from Cloud9. So if Digital mm -hmm. Chaos are going to be coming to this like, oh, we'll just kind of do what we did, I don't know if it's going to work, because Elite Wolves will probably come out hot and heavy. Yeah, they, they, they've also had some time to cool off after the Unknown series. Let's be honest, as we should hop into the draft picks, are pretty well underway now, that the Elite Wolves did not look sharp against Unknown either. That was not the team that I saw in the group No, stage. they didn't. I think this is... How these teams ultimately do are gonna be are gonna come down to how their play styles match up against each other. Yeah. Tusk Dazzle gonna be the opener here for the Wolves. Digital Chaos get the precious Doom and we'll follow it up with a winter wide. You no, know, we haven't seen Doom win that many games lately. Eh? Yeah. Um yeah. yeah, I guess he was winning a lot in Europe in particular, I think, but the teams all you everyone has their own way to play them. I, I personally prefer like the way Matumba Man was doing it where he goes for like the cheap items that you get active extremely early. So tranquils or phase, depending on your lane, drums. Ideally find an alpha wolf and then you just start running at people and ganking. Kinda I think Winter called him the gyrocopter of six point eight five in terms of how Matumba Man was using him, and I think that's a really good way to think about the hero. So what we've seen out of most of the NA teams, uh, and I specifically mean North America, not including the South American teams, is very greedy, passive mid games, and I feel like that's a mistake versus the wolves, and they will exploit you right, if you go right. for that. Um, I guess we'll we'll really see. We'll see how uh, DC handles their aggression. Maybe. Do they do they have a curveball in store here? Also, Alchemist ignored first phase. I guess after that game, maybe DC oh, reevaluating the hero. <laughs> it's so overrated. It's so overrated. It's also not a warp hero like. Give 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 your war something that he can really go like in a, a on. wind ranger or TA type of like shadow fiend not maybe not much options left right. with, with shadow fiend and TA order being banned plus ember it's all core is being removed from elite wolves and Yawar's hero pool big one out there is dark sea right now I wouldn't be confident to say it's the deepest ever but he's got like a strong four or five yeah, yeah. a lot of the I options mean, he, have been limited he, he has enough he has enough yeah. but um alchemist does definitely isn't one of them time. yeah that was very new but wind ranger I would agree is probably one of his top performing options that are left if it's something DC want to consider. Nope. But Wolves pick up an AA. Oh, no Darkseer ban. Good against Doom, good against WW. Yeah, Brood was also not banned. In Darkseer and Brood both available. Um, maybe yeah. that's part of the reasoning for both teams is if if they go Brood, we can at least counter pick it a bit. Though with Wolves, you've already got your offlaner in the Tusk, so their options are a lot more I'm limited. I'm feeling like a Brood or Huskar is going to pop up. One of those two disgusting heroes are going to creep into this. I, honestly, either uh, one. Mm -hmm. Honestly, either Darkseer or Brood could be really strong here for Digital Chaos. Do they run Brood? Is that yeah. a Bulba hero? Yeah, no, it, that's, a, it, that's a Bulba hero. It's definitely hero. a Bulba hero. Okay. Um, I think you, you save it for your, your second phase last. Yeah, you save last. it for fourth phase. Lots of Bulba right? options still there because you still can always fall back on like, yeah, like the, the Darkseer, Clockwork, a lot of good things. I think you, you pick your... Might need to get the Yawar hero now before Yawar there's not many hero. options left. Yeah. Wind Ranger. What else? Do Wind Ranger. Um, I think that's pretty much it. You could storm, but it's it's not very good anymore. Mm. If you're going to storm, you're going to save it for last. Razor mid? Yawar is not a Razor player. I know. Player. It's like, I don't know, man. <laughs> I mean, is there a lot of complexity to a Razor, though, that you would need to have, like, I think it's just not a hero you can make too many mistakes on because he falls behind really easily and he doesn't have huge impact without a ton of fall. I would actually pick your Owie hero here. You go Owie, Bulba, you are, and then so and then I, I have a feeling that wolves are not gonna pick um nice. too much lockdown. There's the Dark Seer. I'm right. really surprised Wolves let it through, honestly, but I guess they respect the Night Stalker. Hmm. So safe lane doom, off lane Dark Seer. it looks like right now. Yep. And then, uh, so they need the Yawar hero and the uh, the Owie hero, like you mentioned. And as for the Wolves, still don't know what Smash is playing. They also don't know who he's going to be, what hero he's going to be laning against. So they may save that for last pick, though. Digital Cast will have the final response. Hmm. I'm so curious to see what Van gets his hands on. He was really off in that Ember game. 
Dan Slark is always the classic. Yeah, they did pick the AA, which maybe suggests they wanted to go Slark. Doesn't lane exceptionally well um, against Darkseer, no, though. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of Slark here. I, I'm not a fan of Slark in general, to be yeah. honest. Um, Anti-Mage so is a possibility. There is a Doom Darkseer, but he... Or, uh, sorry, Doom Wyvern, but he lanes really well against Darkseer. They've kind of set themselves up for a hard carry of some kind. Spectre is the other main possibility, but he does not match up well against Darkseer in lane, so... Elite Wolves could pull out that Weaver that Mason's been pulling out for himself. I, is, I hope nobody pulls out so Weaver bad. ever again. So bad. You don't like the old school AA we that Weaver we combo? And it's nothing against Mason or his individual play. Weaver did nothing for 40 minutes that game, and he got a Midas and just farmed. That hero is just not... <laughs> it does not feel strong right now. Maybe there's another way to use him that we haven't seen. No, I'm pretty sure. But I'm pretty sure bad. he's just bad. Off lane yeah. with yeah. X. That's the way. Um, I there think they're, they're a little so. stumped here. They could take the win rate for themselves. Yeah. There it is. We'll that. And that means Yawar is going to be left with one less good grab. Well, I mean, what is there? Storm. Last pick, Storm. There is not a lot to stop a Storm right now from the side of Elite Wolves. They have one more pick to toy with, but it's a Van pick. And yeah, I don't think the safe link core is going to oh, be Oh, I didn't realize he's the drafter for the team. Is he normally? or I thought it was Mystico. It is yeah, I, thought, I thought it was Mystico as well. I'm not sure. You know, sometimes it doesn't really mean much. Yeah. I mean, I'm DC curious. used to be Bulba, so. Yeah. Well, Spear Breaker. Breaker. I like Spear Breaker, that. Iron Shell. <laughs> this this is original. what you need with Darkseer. Yeah, we yeah. talked about it, all, like, well, I harped on it, like, 30 times in the, yeah. the Wolves no, I, I, Unknown series. I like this series. a lot. Yeah. I like this a lot. And, then, and, like, you can't really go Spectre or AM now and have a good time in your safe lane, which is what I really like about this. Yeah. They also have minimal... They only have Shackle Shot to reliably cancel charge. And I wouldn't even say it's that reliable. If Wolves... I don't... I actually think Storm is, is really good last pick. For, for Wolves? No, for DC. Oh, for DC, yeah. I agree. The only real threat to a Storm is a Blink Wind Ranger. Wow, they banned out a Venomancer? Yeah, and Digital Cast are plays. definitely banned expecting a hard now. carry here. They yeah. banned the Naga. Alk's already removed, who's, as we saw, isn't necessarily the hardest of carries. I mean, like I said, that leaves Anti Mage and Spectre. Bam. I think they're too weak in the laning stage, can be punished really hard by Doom Wyvern and Spirit Breaker. So. Mm, a Lincoln's candidate? Ideally, someone who's a stronger laning carry, but it's Darkseer or Spirit Breaker. Is PL is dead already? Is PL out? No I think you just lose with Gyro, though. Unless Wind Ranger gets really I mean, fat. <laughs> what are you going to do? Yeah, I don't know. They don't have much reserve time either. Like you pointed out, they spent a bunch early. Zark. I'm going to be just as curious to see what they get on DC. Slark's too, actually or, not... If he can get through the lane, he's no, it's not, not bad. I don't know, though. Even Spearbreaker Charge cancels his regen. I, I don't think Slark is the pick at all. Uh, okay. Ooh, interesting. Doesn't have the Alk to feed him an eggs, though. That's Doesn't where the last time we saw Necrophos Oni. No Io to make yeah, him Wisp. Superman. Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's hmm. kind of odd. Oh, yeah, When's the last time they ran Necrophos? I think you Do we have storm. any stats on that? Wolves? Yeah. Have they ever? Boop, 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 boop. That is not a hero I recall seeing, but granted, I have not watched all, all of their games. No, I like Storm here. I agree. It's AA, Dazzle. They have basically... Well, they, I wouldn't say they have no control, but they have mediocre control for Storm. And the offlane is going to be what? Tusk, maybe Tusk, Dazzle? You give the Wyvern Storm a lane together? They should be okay. Or Storm just goes mid. Yeah, or Storm versus Wind Ranger, which is also fine. Okay, okay. Interesting. This cool. is a this is a thing. He he he's played it before. Uh, like I said, Yawar is very similar to his brother. They have almost exactly the same hero pools. They really do. What's the build on Invoker right now? Uh, and also, what what were the changes again at six point eight five? The deafening blast, where you can still choose. Like, you could still target it, but then it shoots outwards in a ring from that location instead of just from your hero. Right, and then there's... But that's only when you're level stats. 25. Something like he keeps the stats when invoke. I'm, I'm unfortunately not a big invoker player myself. I'm but sad it's something with keeping the, keeping the stats when you invoke. Oh, you get... Oh, when you have the ags, you get extra stats for each level, I believe it is. Oh, no, it's whatever orbs you have active, you get extra stats for those. So if you have Wex active, I think you get extra agi. Um, 
Maybe our producer can double check this for us because we, we cannot tab to the patch notes without you guys missing something. Actually, I can because you're observing. All right, but as the game does begin, this is just game number one of this series. Okay, Digital so chaos going against elite wolves. Sorry to interrupt. It. Real quick, intelligence growth increased from 3.2 to 4.0. Alacrity scales from 30 to 90 instead of 20 to 80. And on all invoke spells, you get plus one level to the stats provided Quaswex and Exhort. So... That's actually really confusing. Doom is so big. <laughs> Look how oh, big I think the spells are just a bit stronger based on your... Whatever your QW is, it's like plus one to, to each of them. As chat proceeds to flame us. Literally have not seen a single invoker in competitive play yet, guys, in this patch. I claim yeah. ignorance. You should know that. How are we feeling about the general game plan here? Going with an invoker, are we a little skeptical about the late game that um, DC bring with only a Doom and an invoker now? I mean, what does Wolves have late game? Mean, Unless they, Necrophos you know, gets just, enormous. Oh, but, he, but if he just gets doomed, the game is over. Uh, he, he just, his game is over. He doesn't do anything if he gets doomed. He's going to have to hope for some sort of Lincolns or something. Hear that he wears a mask because he's so ugly. This guy doesn't even want to put his mask on his head. He's proud of what he looks like. I don't need to hide my handsome face. Oh, he should, though. <laughs> <laughs> Did we say why we're pause? Uh, lag. USC is dry. Yeah. Oh, oh too many buttons. Uh, okay. Okay, so you do not get better passive stats. Your invoke spells are considered to have one level higher of each than what they actually are. So, like, if you invoke, let's say, Deafening Blast, and you're not level 20, you're level, what would it be, 22? Then it will consider it a level 25 Deafening Blast, I believe. How does Sumail play? Assuming you have an even distribution of Cosmox Exhort. Uh, you goes, expect uh, to see the same thing from your war. He goes Exhort. Midas. Oh, depends. Usually, he, li he likes fire. He likes fire? He does like fire. I like f he's a fire nation kind yeah. of a guy. I think that's an anime. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> I, I really like that cosmetic, but it's a little ridiculous. What, the, the DBZ Ranger? hair? The Vegeta hair, yeah. yeah I, don't know. I, don't I mean, like that's it. an anime. It's right? too much. <laughs> I mean, it's an anime... Shouldn't Ritsu be playing this? Who's the most anime Do, do you have to ask, dude? Yeah. Do you have Besides to ask? Eternal Envy, who? Oh, I was supposed oh. to say. like the obvious answer. Who's like oh, the, MSS, the next? Who's like the anime? MSS. MSS. Probably. Anime in waiting. MSS. MSS or Ritsu. Really? MSS seems... No, MSS is a huge... Okay. Moo, Moo is well. He hides it well. He hides it better no, than... He no, he doesn't. Go look at his tweets. They're all about like... Eh, let me, anime this, let me, anime all right, that. Let me, let me, There's a picture of him in a Pikachu hat. Who? MSS. All right, that's a pretty anime wallpaper. That's a normal picture. But he doesn't have an anime profile picture. I feel like you automatically are like down oh, like 50% right. on MSS? the anime scale. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he does. Anime yeah. profile picture? Look at this. Where? No. A normal picture. Oh, and his... He has oh, a banner. He's oh, an hey, shout out to MSS who's in chat. Hey, MSS, you weeb. I love you. Arif, Arif can you please tell us if you are a bigger... No, weeb. I'm already docking him anime points. Are you a bigger weeb than scale uh, of one to ten? Than Ritsu? A scale one to Envy. Nobody's on Envy's level. Envy is literally turning his actual real life into an anime, and has convinced the internet to aid him in his quest. <laughs> That's true. I don't think That's anyone else has accomplished true. that just yet. Dude, a lot of his games are pretty much like an anime, though. Arif, please, please tell us. <laughs> What'd you ask him? What what is anime? He, no, is he a bigger weeb oh. than Ritsu? Mm. All right. I'm sure it. I'm a bigger <laughs> weeb than Ritsu, he says. Nice. All right. Why don't you use anime names in game then? Arif, come on. He does. He's no, uh no, he's like he's, Gil MSS. he's no, he's C9 dot G two A dot Gilgamesh. Today he was, but I've seen him with his normal name in the past. MSS, so. what anime is this that yeah, uh, what is that? Mystico is sporting here? So some Why sort is of every some sort of girl with a pink hat. I bet he knows. <laughs> 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 
You fool! Who is Gilgamesh anyway? Don't do it. Gilgamesh. Uh, it's not the initial Gilgamesh. Let me tell you. Apparently, there's some sort of Gilgamesh. A anime. dark and apocalyptic anime series based on the original story was adapted by Group Tack in 2003. Is this the trailer? I think Bulba, he's got the Umbrella Corp. It's a classic, good game. Are you watching a trailer from his anime? Uh, is this the anime? Is this the one? Is that English dub? I guess so. I must fight for her. Ah! Oh! The ancient seal has been broken. I've watched Attack on Titan. Does that count as anime? That's anime. Okay. I watched Family Guy. That's an that anime. show's pretty good. Although it sucks that they haven't made a second season. It's oh, been apparently like... it's the wrong anime. See, it's not the popular. They got like no, no, no. We got this. Uh, it's another one. It's a hipster one. This is what happens when this pauses. Fate Zero, people... apparently. Fate Zero. A lot of people know about it. You should be ashamed. Fate Zero. Look up Fate Zero. Gilgamesh. It's... Is there a bowling anime? There's one for everything else. Swimming, basketball. There's got to be a bowling anime, right? So uh, we have Not no idea why we're paused. The except, voice oh, acting lagging. in those are always so badass. Who's <laughs> Are we actually watching anime right now? Yeah, dude. I'm trying to see what it's all about, dude. Again, they have crazy hair, which cannot be replicated in real life. My warriors let us show the eldest heroic spear in our path of conquest. Let me guess. They're a part of a nation that needs to fight back. <laughs> all right, we're actually watching anime right now. <laughs> Nothing? You didn't Caught in the egg. Dark Zero? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, they need to restart their router, says Smash, so. Okay. Yuar says it's okay. All right. Good. What was your favorite animated show when you were a child? Uh, that you would watch every morning? As a child? I was a huge Pokemon fan. I loved the shit out of Pokemon. What? What was your favorite animated show when you were a child? Does any cartoon count, or has to be like an anime? No, animated show. It doesn't have to be animated an anime. show. Um, Cartoons. Rugrats was good. Like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Transformers. I watched. Yeah, you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I watched a little bit of. I think Pokemon was probably the main one that I watched. I would actually. I my my school bus would always come at like seven ten. And the first Pokemon episode started at 6.30. So I'd always watch the first one. They get really mad because I would have to like go wait for the bus. And I could never right. finish the second one. But my little sister was in kindergarten. So she got to stay late. And so I'd always like hold it against her. I'd be all salty and like bully her. I was a pretty shitty, shitty little kid. Jesus. Yeah. I think I remember like she watched Pokemon. Me, though, like I had thankfully. to rush home. Like after I got dropped off from the bus at school. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'd rush home to catch it in time. I remember like Pokemon would be on at like 7 in the morning. I'd wake up at six something to go watch Pokemon. It was insane. And then you were like ready for the day. Yeah. yeah. Bulbasaur did it. I'm ready to ace my test. When when a new Pokemon got came out, I was so hyped. So hyped. Did you uh did you guys play it in school? Like the the Game, the Game Boy, Boy one? Yeah, the yeah. red and blue. Dude, I would like to, I would take it to school. My me and my friend were the first two to get a Mewtwo. And mine had one more speed than his, so I always won. Because with Mewtwo battles, it's like it's the sh nothing else can beat Mewtwo in the original Pokemon. Psychic is totally broken. So whoever goes first wins. Sure. Unless you miss an attack. So, so he, he got really mad. He kept on losing me, and finally I cloned one for him. Because we figured, we read about like the, the weird oh, bullshit. You fucking nerds. Yeah, dude. Did so you get a Mew? Did you ever awesome. get a Mew, Charlie? I didn't. I didn't that. even catch a missing number. I, I did have one of those. You know all the fake rumors they had about how to get Mews? There yeah, was one that involved the truck near the docks, I think. Or near you, the uh, SSN it was, right? I just remember to there, get that. There, there were versions where that the truck would actually really? work. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, I've, I've, I've seen games where, like, physically in front of me where... Um, that worked. Yeah, you push the truck with strength and then huh. like, there's a Mew there and you catch it. And it's, it's like only special versions that, like... Yeah, editions of the game or something? No, no, I, I don't remember if a guy used a Game Shark for it or it was like the Japanese version. Uh -huh. Um, but it was some other version of the game that I couldn't do it on mine. Huh. So, 
Okay. Yep. Well, but I guess we were just noobs. We did it. The, we did it on the bridge. The bridge just, fight. There's no, some way to get missing like numbers. Going, and going up and there. down that shore or whatever. Yeah, you yeah. That, that proc the fight. You duplicate items in that way and stuff like that. Yeah, you so can't hardcore. get core. I was a hacker. <laughs> Pokemon hacker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I like Pokemon Yellow. Everyone wanted a Pikachu because they liked the cartoon so much. Yeah. Man, they've been riding that fucking wave for a while, eh? Yeah, they they've. Pokemon Go, have you guys heard about this? Yes, I'm actually, That's. it actually looks kind of so cool. So Dakota, the new Pokemon, the way that you like, it'll say like, oh, there's like a, there's like a Charizard in Burbank, you know. I better go to you Burbank. Better, you better yeah, head yeah. to 4th and, and Grove to get it, but you only have two hours. So where's the Mew at then? I don't know. I, don't I mean, know. it's it's like kind of randomly house. generated, I think. So they're getting nerds to go outside. That's it's amazing, smart. isn't it? Yeah. It's gonna be so scary, we're going to find a way to hack it and just do it from First, the First, you got to put on your little space suit, you know, so you don't get exposed like, yourself Mom, to the elements. can you just go to Burbank for me and get my Charmander, bro? <laughs> yeah. uh. Skamaz. They're like, oh, if you want that... What was the electric bird? Zapdos. Zapdos, Zapdos you have to climb up that power line <laughs> and touch the wire. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> All right. Oh, you want that magic carb? Go underwater. So I think we're going to have a remake here. Okay. Our tireless admin, Andre. Shout out to Andre. He never sleeps. Hi, Andre. He's the only... Is he the only admin for this? The only competent admin in Dota 2. Uh, yeah. is, he, is he the only admin for this? No, he's the head admin. I, he's not the only one. I mean, obviously, he can't host every lobby and stay awake for 100 hours right. straight. Although, I've seen Andre, and he will try. Yeah. Yes, he will. Yeah. Yes, he will. I mean, do you have to do much once the game starts. You just have to be around in case something goes down. Well, right? something's always going, going down, down, right? Something's well, we, going down. I want to remake. You know, they're pausing yeah. too long. Yo, I've, I've, use this player. I've messaged him at, like, really shit North American hours, and he's been awake. Yeah, yeah. he probably, like, has his phone or Skype device just, like, right there next yeah. to his bed. Ready. Andre's super legit. He's you the know, man. You know who's not legit? And I'll, I'll put him on blast. Ben Q. Not not oh, ben, not Ben guy. Q the c- company, but Ben Q the the, the admin. guy who's named himself after. Ben, the I haven't company. seen that yeah, guy in a long time. It was like time. Ben Q, and then he has like a gun. Did he already get fired? A gun after his name? I have not seen that guy. Yeah, he thinks he's like a a gangster or something. Oh, it's uh, a remake. He, he thinks it's like super important or some shit. All right, looks like we're out of this one. He has the little like ASCII art gun in his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's you so know because bad- he's that's badass because he's a mafia. I don't know. That's like the digital version of like a. <laughs> Like a back, lower back tattoo, putting like a gun in your name. <laughs> What's that called? A tramp stamp? A tramp stamp. Or yeah. it's like, or it's like putting one of those like beware of dog stickers on your house, and you don't even own a dog. <laughs> no fear. I'm a badass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a badass. I had pogs. Pogs. Now there's a I'm fad. Just, I'm just getting a bunch of messages about how Ben Q's a. a oh my dog. god. You're getting blown up. Oh my. god. People really don't like BenQ, huh? Well, you better be a good admin. Fortunately, I don't think he watches the English streams <laughs> for his sanity. <laughs> Not that we care. There's there's one point where uh, I think Peter flamed him, and he messaged me, and he was like, can you tell your player to show me some more respect? <laughs> so what'd you do? I fake afk would Okay. That's a, that's a smart move. Do you pull that one out of the playbook very often, or is that reserved for, like, I I actually Desperate don't. Think, I actually I I honestly don't remember what I did. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think I fake AFK though. He's lying. He knows. One of the things he probably didn't do was care. It. it involved a baseball bat, gasoline. And I'm a not. Rag. I'm I'm not traveling to Eastern Europe for that. <laughs> he's safe but only because he's in Eastern Europe. I like. I was like. I would never like hurt anyone. It's. I would <laughs> hurt him if he was a little more conveniently <laughs> proximate to my location. <laughs> If I hurt him, I mean give him a stern talking to. All right. I went into the same game. Cool. Cool. Well, what? There's that five-minute delay, so we got to wait. Okay. Strength in the truck doesn't work. I've done it. So, someone's calling you out as you're a liar. Truck. Doesn't say anything. What here. was your favorite old-school gaming exploit that you did? Like, for me, like, if I want to go super old school, is like, being one of the people who knew the Konami code doing, like, Street Fighter, so you could play as two of the same I characters. I never actually did that. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, A, so like, start. Like, that was, like, the big cheat code for me. Oh, yeah. What would be, like, a big... 
All the Starcraft. Exploit. I think all the Starcraft ones for me, like just because they had really cool names, like Power Overwhelming or Black Sheep Wall. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, or was that Warcraft? Black Two. Sheep Wall was Warcraft. I think they used a well, bunch of Starcraft well, refer or well, Warcraft references. I thought in the on uh, what was on screen. What do you mean on screen? On screen was a cheat code for Warcraft. Or let me see. Starcraft. For Starcraft, all I remember is like playing like cheat big. Codes. What is it? Big oh, game hunters. I think Starcraft like was Black Sheep Wall. I remember on screen was a cheat code for something. Dakota, you did it wrong, apparently. Did what wrong? Up, up. Oh, I just kind of spouted Operation out. Operation Seawall, No Glues, Food for Thought, Modify the Phase Variants. Did I say the Konami Code wrong? Opelia, <laughs> Staying Alive, dude. Game Over Man, Medieval Man, Something for Nothing. I don't remember. There is no cow level. That's a big one. And Power mm -hmm. Overwhelming, which I did remember. Not that I ever cheated, of course, because, and I'm sure you guys haven't either, because we're all very ethical. I mean, for the Street Fighter one, it wasn't really cheap. It was just that... If, An unlock. If I like to play Guile and someone else did, oh, we're in. Both play. Oh, is this the actual game now? Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Did you guys play Age of Empires 2? No. I did. That game was amazing. Yeah, that was pretty fun. I played it competitively for a little bit. I got destroyed. I like because I had never played it competitively, and I thought I was good at the game. This was like in the, uh, the everybody the has early like, yeah. age of esports. Well, not yeah. even esports. But was video like gaming, competitive yeah. gaming. Yeah. I was Everybody like, oh, had that experience. That's early. And then I started game. idolizing the guy who beat me. I was like, I think, <laughs> ten years old, and I'd like tried to find all his replays. I'm like, I was rooting for him in the tournaments. Then I was like, well, that makes me better if he goes deep. That's early competitive. Early competitive gaming for me was going to your local blockbuster to play NBA Jam TE or Clay Fighter. That was the best. Clay at NBA Jam Fighter. TE. That game was amazing. Clay Fighter. Just like the art direction was so good in that game. I did enjoy that game. Hey, Marshall here, man. LD was never 10 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we paused again? Let's try. We have 10, but probably playable. Okay. Well, I don't know what that means. Like packet loss? I don't know. I hope someday the qualifiers aren't land, honestly. I realize there's some oh, reasons nice. why it's not very practical, but CSGO has it. I guess mo the countries that play, that have top CSGO teams, all those they're, countries, generally easier to get visas. Yeah, yeah. They're all, they're all mostly in Europe, so. Yeah. It's just kind of a shame when... Is there a Chinese CSGO team? Uh, Do they not play that game over they there? They have all these knockoffs of CSGO, I think. What, if Call I... of Duty? <laughs> no, no, like... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like more direct copies of CS:GO that are not actually CS:GO. I don't think they have. So they it. don't play that. Do they play any first-person shooters? I'm sure they. I'm sure there are first-person shooters. Are they Crossfire. Uh, Crossfire. You get caught up. Not that one. That commercial. <laughs> that was my favorite commercial. <laughs> now I just want to go back and watch like Crossfire. 90s t television. Crossfire. Crossfire. Uh, Jamba Juice. That only goes out to. The real Merlini right police have arrived. Early 90s. Oh. Every time RMP walks in, she's carrying more stuff than the last time. Do you need help? And all of us are always in the middle of casting. Oh, I wish I could help you with all that food, but I'm just... But I guess we'll just have to eat it later controlling instead. Controlling ca terrible camera work Thank here. you, RMP. Shout out to the only person keeping the hub going. Woot. All right, gentlemen. It looks like we're actually going to have a game underway here. It's the Digital Chaos crew going against the Elite Wolves here. Game number one, lower bracket, best of three. I love you. And we'll have to see who is going to be coming out on top here. Digital Chaos, putting together a lineup that seems to be pretty different than what we saw in the last series. This one seems more gung-ho with the mm. action. Not a lot of late game here. Possible expiration. Huge match for both teams. and Huge. Prior to the playoffs, I really would have felt Elite Wolves would easily win, but, you know, I'm not so sure. And I like the DC draft a lot. I, I'm not very confident about Wolves having the Necrophos and just a general lack of late game, but we'll see. Action already breaking out bottom as TC pops the level one Scorched Earth. He got the Bounty Rune. If he gets out, a double Bounty Rune grab. Big win for Digital Chaos, and it's before the creeps even spawn. How many mangoes we got? Oh, this is the Three. important question here. Three? Three total. Know. What's my item hotkey? I don't know. At five. Is it normally? Nope, not for me. Yeah, my hotkeys are all futzed here, so I'm going to have to make do with it. You can just switch to me while Dakota fumbles her out. No, it's okay. You know, get a real I observer on the case. I mean, I, I wouldn't beg to differ here. Oh, good. They paused, so it... Oh, okay. All right. Reborn? Reborn. 
I had a big lag spike. One big lag spike. Let's hold on. Thanks, Valve, for patch. <laughs> Jeez. And we're off. Okay. I hear a charge. Where are we? Coming in hot. It is going to be scouted by the Observer Ward. Can they punish this in any way? They have no way to cancel the charge. Oh, unless Buryu just stops right stuck. next to Masoku. <laughs> what? Uh, he just managed to wiggle out somehow. Why would you stop at that point? I think he got stuck in the trees. Not mid-charge. How can you get stuck in the trees while you're charging? No, no, no. I mean... So like a redwood? <laughs> I mean, um... Oh, like he stopped and then he got stuck, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why did he stop? Or no, no, he didn't stop. Like, the uh, AA was on the very edge. Oh, and so the game pathing was weird yeah, about it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, smash! Quick execution mid lane. What happened? That should I happen. just saw a power shot. I'm guessing he tried to trade blows and then smash just dove him. And now is getting charged, but he's salving up. Should be okay. Buryu canceling the charge. He's already blown two out of mana, basically. <laughs> and yet to really have an impact and here no early on. For him. All right, so mid and top so far. Inching out nicely for Elite Wolves, at least at the early start here. Looks like Stinger's also happy to just work with the creeps, contest, and Wyvern can't do anything about it, so that's great for him. Leaves a solo farming lane for Mystico on his desert. Yeah, so all of the Wolves here is farming really well early on. And this is something I've seen more from them lately, is Mystico getting more farm priority, especially on somewhat level-dependent quote-unquote supports like Dazzle. So you're going to see Stinger move around. They did the, a similar thing with Doom in the first game of the Unknown series where they wrecked. And to me, it's it's something like you compare it to, say, what Buryu gets in the landing stage where he's often very under-leveled and under-farmed. And I think most of the top teams, sure, you might have an under-farmed support, but under-leveled is just desperately something you want to avoid. So let's see if they're able to punish the Dazzle. So far, Misko... We're getting a lot here, going and they're going on mid. mid lane. Yep, shards are going to be off the mark, but they followed up with a roll through. This is a stinger with he a double needs, damage. He needs TPs, and he, needs he is gone. TPs coming, but it's a uh, bit too late. late. Smash is going to sprint away. There. They may lose stinger though. Buys the TP. Could spend a little more gold here. Gets a bottle before going down, and the neutrals. Oh, close call. That would have been the dream. I mean, Aoi, not soon enough to rotate, but it's not like he had cold embrace anyways. But. That's unfortunate. That's two times you are going to be taken down this mid lane. And, uh, you know, this isn't last game, Digital Chaos. This team is coming to play. You They're look at all the buffs that Invokers had recently, like the, the new and improved Deafening Blast when you get max level, uh, the the buffs to Aghanim Scepter. None of them fix his biggest problem, which has always been the laning stage. And like Charlie said, he's not getting the right kind of help here. But credit to Smash. This guy is a player. He's punishing you are early on. Something that uh, should be noted as well. Uh, Van is doing um, a really good job of denying, uh, denying Bulba. And denies are, yeah, or buff now with his sadist. So, eh, so Bulba, Bulba's not getting like easy CS. A lot of a lot of one players can get like super lazy against a dark seer where they just don't bother. And then he comes out with a mech, a blake, yeah, arcane they, boots at like. 15 minutes. They don't bother 20 denying minutes. him, but uh, fans up to 12 denies now. Gonna charge Smash again. No help from the Invoker just yet. This one will connect. Trying to control the rune. Smash has a shackle. And Buryu already got the haste. But he'll just sprint back with the wind run. Buryu in pursuit. 17%. Nope. 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 Smash is going to be able to walk away, and Buryu will be coming up short on his pressure there. Heads back towards his top lane, which there will be a ward. I am not feeling the Spirit Breaker's presence so far. Nope, not yet. Like, oh. compare this to the Night Stalker Darkseer game that we saw from Unobo oh. bottom lane. Oh. This is going to need to get saved here with the Snowball. TC's going to be waiting they for him. They have a him. heal. They go in, they'll have the grave. TC, why did he walk forward? If he had walked backwards... He still had... No, he doesn't have no, it. If, if, if he had walked backwards... It would be a longer journey to get back, yeah. Yeah, he, he would have gotten it. It is it's like you decide where the snowball goes, and I guess definitely just, a misplay. It's there. like, oh, I just assumed he'd be going back to base, <laughs> their base. So I'll walk Would up you towards like a free it. trip to the yeah, tower? Yeah, so I'll put Here you close to the tower. Yeah, that yeah. was. I mean, I, not gonna lie, if that was me, I probably would have done the same thing, but should have drawn them out and further away, so we would have had more time to chase down the dazzle. It's okay. He's still free farming. He's already level six. He has no support in the lane. He got the ideal creep for. Handling a lot of aggression early on, now I would say, which is the Unholy Aura. Doom, the you can kill one of them right here. He decides to turn around and... They have... Lost. Yeah, I 
Well, they have the snowball or the grave save with the stick charges, so... I think he could still kill one of them anyway. You doom here. They're both the same health. I guess it doesn't really matter. I think you you doom the... Uh, what's it? The tusk. Yeah. He's wow, also he's hitting him right now. I didn't even put two together. He's already level six. He's barely five minutes in. Doom, what a hero. <laughs> two v one in and... <sighs> uh, 1v2ing and winning, I should say. Reborn. Reborn. What did you say? Doom the Tusk? I think he just doomed Well, right now he has plenty of time to check over the mana. Oh, does Daz love Grave? Yeah, hey. The Wolves paused. If, if DC paused, that would be a little... Well, they said they're spiking too, so it's not like they can unpause until everybody's ready, <laughs> but... You okay there, buddy? Hmm? Oh, Dakota. He's having a little, like, spaz attack. Yeah. You know, all I want to do is I'm just a boy who wants to cast some Dota. Do we want to bet on who he's going to do? I think he's going to do the... I, I actually... I actually in the mango. I actually bet he's not going to do I don't think all. he's going to do anyone because it's TC. Yeah, I don't think he's going to do anybody. <laughs> no, I agree. I agree. He's a very conservative player. I think, well, I mean, what do you think? Just throw out the Doom? Is he going to be using it again anytime soon? Does anyone think he's going to Doom a creep? Chat, <laughs> chat seems to be convinced. If he Dooms a creep, no, he's guys, not, I will just Blitz, get up is, Blitz is not here. playing on TC's account. Blitz is not here. All right. Come on, TC. Let's see. Let's ha, ha. Oh, All right. All right. Dude, we were it. wrong. He did it. He did it. Wait he has charge. the stick for a grave and doesn't get it off, Misko. He may actually be in a bit of trouble. They as well. both got a lot of time to premeditate. What could have happened there? He tried to he tried to basically min-max it so that he would save the grave for the last possible second, but he was, I guess, a quarter of a second late on actually casting the grave. I, th I think TC may have gotten the kill anyway, though. Well, I don't know. You grave him and run yeah. all the way straight back. Maybe you could at least get the deny or something. That's true. But yeah, but he wanted, He thought... I think Misko thought he could actually save him. Which he wasn't... It was fairly close to get to the grave right then. Oh, oh, smash. Oh, oh. Nice damage. They got him. Nice little coordination, yeah. leading with a charge from Biryu, Sunstrike, and Aoi conveniently this there. Is, this is what I like when um, Aoi's playing the Winter Wyvern because he's going to get more farm so he can get the Blink Refresher, and then uh, Biryu is on something more aggressive. Yeah. And also doesn't really need farm. It's nice if you get it. Yeah. Well, when he's on like a hero like Spirit Breaker, he's, he's forced to move. He's forced to do things. Yeah. Instead of a more passive, Winter squishy Wyvern. support, yeah, yeah. Wyvern exactly. dazzle, stuff like that. So laning stage, the big stories here are that Smash did really well one v one. Now he's being bullied basically by a dual or tri lane and slightly suffering. Van having a really good time in the safe lane goes for the treads. Yeah, we've but seen a lot of Necros rush Midas. I know Loda especially likes to go that build, but not a common way for the Wolves to play. And so far, just focusing on the laning presence. TC also though, gets a lot of farm and now has picked up a kill, and it looks like they're hoping to set up something new here. Charge has already been out, and by the time it will connect, Tomb will be ready here on TC. He doesn't, yeah. he doesn't have the mana No for, mana for Doom. I don't know if they need it, though. Looking to move in now. Well, grave yeah. available. Need needs to make sure he gets it off. This time he Stinger. will. There's the bump. And he's going to Doom what? Cancel it. Deny what? him. Deny him. Deny him. Oh. Not going to be happening. It been they a had a double loss kill there. Him. What? Oh. Why did they do that? <laughs> All right. Well, they have the double kill anyway. Sniped by Yawar. Thank Nicely you, done. Frog. And Buryu with some big bash luck. <laughs> Gets them going. Five to two now for they, Digital Chaos. They got really lucky with those bashes. Yeah. The first hit bash especially is really important because it lets them know they can dive the tower safely for the kill. What a loopy game already. Five to two, though. It's all That's okay, guys. Chaos. Ice Frog fixed Spirit Breaker. <laughs> um, I like Bulba's choice to go to the jungle here. He knows that he's not going to get as much. Oh, smash. Um, no. This time the Shackle will cancel the charge, but rune secured. DC are doing an excellent job of controlling the runes. Another double grab for them. Smash does have the ward. Not anymore. Beer's playing pretty well this game. Oh, and he, he, he's going in again. Bottom lane seems to be the site. Got him! Nice. Easy sun strike here. They don't even need the assistance from Spirit Breaker. 
Digital Chaos. This, very this is quickly this turning into a mess for the Wolves. They had a 1,500 gold lead. It's not 1,000 the other way. Now, that was way too much action, so let's take a moment to just kind of yeah, let's take that all in and reflect. <sighs> nice relaxing shower, perhaps, you know? Um, this Jamba Juice is really good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I really am. This is this is making. That's how we got Charlie to come. Oh, it really, some Jamba it really Juice is. and Chick Fil A. It really is. If you're if you're looking to date Charlie, ladies, and you can provide him with Jamba Juice and Chick Fil A, I'm sure I'm just you've gonna got a leg up. I'm sure I'm just gonna get flamed right now. Charlie will get with any woman where oh, a leg hey will guys. be up already. It's America time. Mm -hmm. Apparently, <laughs> are we gonna throw a Peruvian flag in there or no? We're just okay. We got to be unbiased here. Come on, Rob. That was very biased of you. Make sure you find the right flag. <laughs> I don't know what the Peruvian flag actually looks like. Okay. I've seen some variations here, though. Animated An animated Peruvian right, flag? Whatever, you, you do your best. I believe in you, Rob. So, TC with his farm. He's going to get a Midas build up. Wonderful. Spirit Breaker with Treads. Neato. Mech, nothing unusual there. We don't know yet what Yawar is going to go on in his Invoker. Is it Midas. Midas build up? Definitely Midas. Uh -huh. All right. Ultra Greed. Doesn't seem that it's going to be punished at all. Well, with the start he's had as well, there's he needs no it. reason not to. He needs it. It's going to be another game of Greed versus Greed, because this Necro is going to also get a Midas, it looks like. Did he change his hair I think, cosmetic? I think DC has uh, much better ways of punishing that Greed, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah he yeah. did change his hair cosmetic. <laughs> I like I like that much better than... Um, than anime Vegeta hair? Yes. This is the serious mode. All right, no messing around here. MSS, are you still in chat? Mr. Mojo Stone Stat. Sorry, guys. We will try to stop the pauses. I'm just going to get on the phone with uh, Digital Chaos's manager. And I'm sure that they'll sort everything out for us. We're ready whenever he's back. He is trying. That's mm. unfortunate. Who's he? No one's disconnected. Killing my hype, man. Okay. Here we go. We're back. We're back. Let's Game is resumed. Get ready to rumble. Let's hope for at least five minutes of action here. This is bad. Like what, what wasn't there another Dota period where just the games were always plagued with pauses? I think it was before The worst was the G one league season five? The the worst was that qualifier period for a bunch of Chinese lands. That was that was the G one. Where that was where, where everyone was getting DDoS. That was where God yeah. started reading Harry Potter. It was Harry like Potter. the DDoS era. It was yeah. like Gods would read Harry Potter. AC developed story time, and he had like multiple like forty five minute stories. Aaron's got some crazy stories. Yeah, that was that time I first showed up here. Guy. The four hour game for WCA and all that. It was just DDoSing. Was running and, rampant. Aaron only told the PC stories. On oh screen. yeah, I've. I've only heard a few of his non-PC ones, oh, but they're MSS very entertaining. Is there. Did I get flamed again? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, we're going <laughs> to see Midas Gaming now. TC's Midas being flown out. You are undoubtedly going to pick his up soon. Wolves, at this time, have the Ice Blast online. Something that they may be looking to make plays happen now. Their setup for Ice Blast is so-so. You've got the Snowball and the Shackle. Now, level yeah. 3 Shackle. Curious to see where their first move is going to be. As Buryu charges. Buryu cancel that that's charge. A, <laughs> that's a questionable charge. He's he might still be dead. Do they get a good shackle on him is the question. Yes, they do. Snowball coming through as well. Caught in the shard. Not going anywhere. That's unfortunate. But it's only a, a basically a five position spirit breaker. Wolves will take every little scrap they can get. Good little catch off right there. And they go back. Oh, man. Also a Midas for Smash. This is... I feel like this is this is definitely Smash like adapting his gameplay to what he's seen from other teams because he was not going Midas on Windranger previously. No, but no. I hey get with the get with the trend. I don't, I don't know that any mid laner getting Midas. Here. I saw was it Brax I think 
went for Midas and Wind Ranger. It felt like it took him a really long time to have an impact on the game. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it. We'll see. We can just go like dagger or something. Smoke now for the wolves, but you are playing conservatively. Absolutely nobody's showing on the map right now. And there's a great ward behind I the bottom lane. Yeah, he, I they were scouting Roche. They see no one. They're like, okay, wolves must be roaching, but in what fact, they, they don't even have great Roche heroes. Yeah, that that's not the that's not the ideal way to smoke. But they're afraid to leave someone on the map by themselves because of the spirit breaker and the sun strike. You do that, you could easily get picked off. So, not the best timing window. They get their mech online for Necro. So Van looking to fight rather early. It will be mostly a game of greed versus a. Game of combat. DC getting a free tower out of this whole arrangement as well. And again, the deep wards for DC are excellent right now. You mean this ward over here and this ward here is not too bad? I think I also got a nice little deep ward here on bottom. Th cool. Th this, is, this is amazing for Spirit Breaker and Invoker. So it's much easier to hit your shun strikes as well as to, to set up a good charge. Top tower is under attack. Oh god, the cat's here. Alright. The cat's here. Stay what am I supposed to do right now? From this iron shell. Just remain calm, Charlie. I want to pet it, though. You know, Winter's afraid of the cats. Oh, they're five many bottom. Even looking to smoke, maybe, with Misko having one in the inventory, and... Some of this was scouted. They only saw Stinger run bottom, so they don't know for sure, but... Just look at the map. There's so many empty lanes right now. DC have a very good idea that wolves can only be in a few locations. Now they're going to show smash bottom. That's two heroes showing bottom. Honestly, these wards are winning the mid game right now for mm -hmm. DC. Ooh, smoke though. I mean, they got an idea as far as where the elite wolves are hanging around this bottom lane, but then they'll go missing here. They have to punish the Midas's. They went for a mech on van and they're just not getting anything done. Another check on the Roche here from Yawar. Obviously, they're not going to scout anything. So and now they're five-man smoking from bottom to top. And they will find one. It's TC, but he's invis. Do they have detection? Nope. Nothing. Another whiff from the Wolves. This is honestly a disaster. And now their mech window is over. They're down 5k gold, 4k experience. Every smoke gank has been a complete airball. They have not punished the greed of DC whatsoever. And they don't really have a draft that's designed to go late. They're building one Midas versus Devour and two Midases. Wouldn't be surprised to see more. Spirit Breaker getting treads for now. Doesn't even have the Midas yet. Yeah. This is, what, a 14-minute Midas? 15-minute Midas for your solo mid Windranger? <sighs> Elite Wolves after a strong showing in the group stage. This is not happening here. They're going to have to dig deep. And now they're five Manny mid. They seem very lost about how to handle DC. And Look at the split pressure, though. They and DC are just, one. They're just, they're just get a playing it two. perfectly. Yeah. Easy tier two top. Bulba gets free farm bottom. And they don't have wolves. a hero like Spirit Breaker. They don't have that hero they can just run around creating space. And when they go for their smoke ganks, it's three to five heroes with nobody showing on the map. It's just too obvious. DC are just reading them like a book. So only Moses continue to kind of be a bit bewildered here, hanging around this mid you lane. You can really see it too in their movements. Like, yeah. uh, we don't really know where to go. Putting a hero on their own is very dangerous against Spirit Breaker and Sunstrike Invoker, but we have to pressure. Every time we try to pressure, they're ready for it. What do we do? It's been five minutes of nothing. But well, DC are taking advantage. It does almost feel like the DC did enough in the early game to get this advantage, and then they're going into that kind of safe play now. It's like, okay, we got the power advantage. Let's just farm the most of the map while we know Elite Wolves are very uncomfortable, and eventually we will starve them out. And I think that's okay for... Bad, which is a great way to win a game. Yeah, it's And okay. get the win, which is what's important. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, this don't is expect DC though. to continue is, going full soldiers. This is not just be greedy when you haven't done anything to put them in a bad position. Like, first they win the lanes, then they try to extend the lead by getting Midas's. So I, I think this is the way that you want to be doing this. Masoku going to get charged mid. They've shown a hero on his own. Can they back him up in time? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Here you go. Maybe going to be caught on the way out. Smash going to move in. Walrus punch. Still taking a lot of Doesn't extra effort here. Oh he didn't want to use the shackle. He was getting greedy. Smash trying to save it. And now they've doomed up Van. One more auto attack. They barely get the kill. It's just space. That took a long time to get a little five position spirit breaker down. 
Hey, Smash has a haste turn, though. This could be an opportunity. No, to wear off. Not do anything. And five heroes again. He's going for Maelstrom. He's not going for Midas. Okay. Joel, the cat's gone. What's why? Why? Maybe if he was against, like, you know, illusion-based heroes like PL and Naga, why a Maelstrom here? Is it to keep the pressure off and farm out lanes even quicker? or? It's just like the... It's the in-between option, right? Where you get you extend your farm, but you also get extra damage that helps you fight early. Oh, mid lane. Winter's Curse, big catch on Mystico. An Ice Blast will be traded, but obviously nothing will come of it there. Just Digital Chaos finding an opportunity to take advantage of a weak and wounded animal and taking him down. If you keep an eye on the minimap, I don't think there's been a single point for the past, now it's eight minutes, where there hasn't been at least one DC hero in a side lane farming. And Wolves have pretty much always been five together, or maybe one hero just sitting, hiding in the trees, and so much of it comes down to Buryu. The, the first few charges were complete failures, but he just kept on going, and once he found the openings, the map has really opened up, and now they're going to find Van has the Speak mech. Speak of the devil. Don't even know if he gets it off here. Damn. Nope. DC. Just slaughtering the Wolves. There's just not a whole lot to say on the Wolves' behalf. They haven't had anything going their way. They really have been neutered this game. Well, they had they one are. kill in... What is that? Like 12 minutes? Well, maybe they'll get a kill now. Looks like they will. Right. They converge. They get a smoke. They get to grab onto Owie. They spot out Yawar. Shards are going to be thrown, but unfortunately the Tusk is too far from his family, and he will go down. So even when the Elite Wolves are finally able to put together a kill. It looks like they could lose more for it. They get a nice shackle on the Bulba here, but he's got that mech. Oh, Doom's already bad. been unleashed for DC. Big vacuum wall combo, and they're going to be taking down Smash, and they're going to be looking for Mystico. They're going to grab it there. TC now dominating. Here we go. That's Dota. I think this is a really good game for DC to have. Build up some confidence, especially for Biru. He was so poor last game. He wasn't doing very much, but um, look at that—he's not at the bottom of the net worth chart. That's and he's—he's uh, he's the one starting a lot of these fights. Like he is the—he's the catalyst for a lot of this. He's so been on in on eight out of twelve kills. This is this is a really good game for him to have and to to build some confidence going into the next game or the next series. No. Which <laughs> Let's not write up the wolves, write up the wolves quite yet. Yeah, I, I said DC, or. I said or. DC looking good. And they're in position now where they can think about a Roche soon. Still a nice aggressive ward up. Lone bright spot here. Smash has managed to complete a Maelstrom. But you go, you go early Maelstrom, early mech, just early combat items in general in Wolves. This is not the tempo you're looking for. They've had only a handful of fights. It's usually just a single support dying, and then they often have to give up a counter kill in exchange. So, yeah, DC finding their rhythm here at a crucial moment. DC's got a blink. It looks like he's going to be building into a BKB. Just doesn't seem like there's going to be much to stop this Dune soon enough. And How do you guys see Wolves getting back into this That's game right what I was looking at right now. I mean, Tuss has got a glimmer cape, so he's kind DC of built throw. a bit defensively. Not they, too team much fights offensive are, potential. Are super hard to take. Uh, DC also have the uh, the vacuum winner's curse combo. Mm -hmm. It's one of the um, one of the combos feared at TI. All TIs? No, well, the, well Wyvern wasn't last. in the game last TI, right? Yes, he was. Was he? Yeah. What TI five? No, I mean TI four. TI five. I said the last TI. Oh, and then Dakota said all TIs. Because he yeah, said TI. I said, I said no. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, what? We are not in sync. What? I'm so confused. Yeah. It's Maybe we should pause. <laughs> Can we pause? <laughs> I know we can't because Reborn. Brain lag? Yeah. Uh, well, maybe the comeback is Van getting an Agnum Scepter. For now, though, quite a ways off. No way to really get that into the fights to make it to use. That is a good point. Like, you can be really far ahead against Necro, but we saw it from Monkey Business previously. I forget if it was Nunyan or the Frankfurt qualifiers, but one good Aghanim Scepter ult can completely change the game. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. The more they eat. I think um, eventually just DC just takes Roche and... Uh, Tries to break high ground with the uh, with the Invoker plus Doom. 
Ward gets dropped down mid. You can see Wolves trying to guard their jungle now that three towers surrounding it are gone. And lega 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 log. We've got to pause. All right, where's the cat? <laughs> God. Doesn't even feel like this has just been one game. Oh. Kitty cat. No, Sophie. To, she's right there. She's on, She's by Rob. Rob, provide us with a cat for our amusement. Rob, give me the cat. We demand a cat. She's warming your feet. No. 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 He paused. Charlie, have you sought help for your cat problem? So for those who don't know, Charlie is extremely allergic to cats. Yep. And he... He is so addicted to them. Oh, all right. All right. She is not coming on camera right now. And so since, of course, he's allergic to cats, the intelligent thing to do would be to try to minimize your contact with them. So Charlie likes to rub cats on his face. Because, I love cats. Because that's how he, he manages his allergies. I love Charlie cats. Charlie is not a smart man. What, what am I supposed to do? I love cats. Get a shaved cat, dude. No. What the fuck? It's really not. Greg says that's not a real cat, and it's not. Sophie's normally the most friendly, but she's uh, she's in a mood. She's also kind of bipolar. Can cats be actually be bipolar? I oh, I'm sure, dude. Sure. I'm sure cats and animals all can have the same, you know, psychological. Dakota, you're not much of an animal guy, are you? Yeah, I am. Are you? Are you? We're going to get a dog soon. You're you a dog guy. Dude, Good, my, strong parents house is animal. A, my parents' house is a fucking zoo. There's like six cats, three dogs, two birds. Have you ever had a bird? I hate birds. They birds. They sound terrible. I hate birds. They're loud and they Why stink. Why would you want a bird? And they poop in a I mean, cage. Yeah. Like, you can't let them out. I, li I like my birds a lot. I do. They're two cockatiels. You can like play with them and handle them and walk what around with them and stuff. But, you know, no. they're loud. I ain't about they it. Get a, buy a hyperallergenic cat, you idiot. Do don't do hyper hyperallergenic yeah, cats have a hair? shaved cat? The That's ones that it. like don't really have fur. Basically. Yeah, I don't. W w I don't want that. So those are ugly. There are yeah. no like all animals have aller even like hyperallergenic dogs still shed dander, just like not as much. I don't know for cats though. Oh my god, there's a game. All, all right, right here we go. Everybody, get your hype ready. We're back. Oh, yeah, twelve to five. Digital cramps. Pull them out the head. Now. <laughs> I want. I want to play like uh, Dakota. <laughs> do your like best power thirst, you know, impression. For what's, what's, what's a power thirst? Oh, is that the? That's what's his face, right? Like the old spice guy. Uh, it's kind of like that, but it's more like over the top Billy Mays ish. Maybe after the it next was a boss. meme video before there were memes. Before dank memes were truly a thing, like the RV commercial guy. <laughs> yeah, is that is that like the where the, where did the soda go thing? Oh, those are hilarious. I love those. Okay, game still continues here as digital chaos creep on in, and we're still looking at a elite wolf squad. Even with this pause time to try to maybe formulate a game plan, to me, still look a bit lost. They're not used to playing from behind. Because this is a team that generally does not play greedy, likes to basically win the lanes, control the map, and dictate the snowball pace. from there. And to me, they're not really, they don't excel at reactionary play, and I would say the same about Unknown as, as well. And well, that's where the Wolves are. They also have an itemized to try and take it late. Maelstrom, no Midas's. I mean, even Ancient Apparition, nowhere. Hell, I'm talking about a Midas. Masoku has boots and a wand. 1200 net worth. They may find TC here though. Could be a big grab, but he blinks oh. out. TC with the monster reaction. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, that was pretty cool. He did have the hill ward, so the second the smoke broke, but even so, quick reaction. TC, terrific carry? Terrific carry. That's not what they were saying in the last series. <laughs> but for now, DC are in a very, very good spot. They smoke up now after that attempted gank and will take their business to the mid lane here. Where they spot out Van. No. Oh, what a terrible time to pause. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Okay. All right. So anyway, someone in chat was saying that yep. uh, apparently there are hypoallergenic cats because they're specially genetically like they're 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 bred. bred but but they have hair. Yeah. 
Apparently. Well, I don't know if they have They're hair. They're inbred? 5000 to $20,000, the, the guy dogs are also they call Holy them. shit. I'm not sure if that's true. Well, that, might be, hair. that might be nonsense, but... If you have hair, there's still going to be dander to shed. But yes, it will be less. But you can still have allergies. I I mean, I'm still going to have allergies to them. Like, my my cat allergies are really, really severe. So are you, like, when you go home, do you just walk around your apartment constantly, like, sneezing and, like, your skin's all red and irritated? No, I don't have a cat. I thought you got one. Yeah, I thought you got a cat. No, my mom got a cat. Uh, Oh. Because you said I got a cat in your tweet. Well, I mean... Us as a family got a cat. So when you go home, that's your, your yeah, home experience. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll only go it's home It's like for, God's eating peanuts or something. Yeah, I'll go home for like three or four days out of the year, um, and I'll go spend time with my cat. It, it doesn't go into my room, so it's... Apparently I'm hypoallergenic, since I have no hair. <laughs> Damn. Uh, memes. So dank. Yeah, I really don't like pauses. I feel like this just kills the hype so much. It sucks, but what can you do, right? Is this Power Thirst? Is this on stream right now? What the hell? You've never seen this before? No, I've never seen this. (laughs) 29 million views. (laughs) Damn. I want some real lightning. Can they hear this? A little bit. <laughs> Christmas lights. <laughs> this was in 2007. We're getting old. There were memes eight years ago. What do you think is like the first like comical viral video? That you remember. For me, it was like that race car one, that the frog race car thing. Oh, for, for me, <laughs> it was. <laughs> for me, it was the. Uh, the two. You'll be fast as Kenya. <laughs> the the two Chinese guys, like, they they lip sync, like music videos or whatever. And they, oh, and they, I know what like, you're talking about. Yeah, it was like yeah, younger yeah. dudes, right? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. They did like the boy bands, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I, I think that was that. the first ones I remember. Um, in terms of like just media, it was like the, it was the, Kerpal oh, dancing prank. baby. That is an old one. Dancing baby. That guy's at least like thirty years old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Numa Numa. Dancing baby was on that like was Ali McBeal. Is that the name of the show? Also, a oh, Star yeah. Wars kid. That's that was like one, one of the original. That poor kid. <laughs> original dank memes. <sighs> Where's the cat? They're running away. You scared them. God damn. Are both teams disqualified yet? <laughs> <laughs> Just put unknown in cloud nine in. So be wait. What did what's Andre coming in about? He's saying Just to be careful, like not to actually leave the game because you can't. They can't reload if it's broken. Uh, are they planning on fixing that for the major? Uh, forehead. Uh, we got things like the hats for major. They they added some new cosmetics. Did they yeah. fix all the old ones yet? I don't know. The the EG Doom set works, I think. Oh, great. Yeah. Good. Yeah, money, C- money, money. What's wrong with Tusk's dude? face? On top of your uh, <laughs> your Twitch bucks, <laughs> you know, I got some... And the and the TI money. Some Doom bucks, some yeah. Valve bucks. Mm-hmm. As though you need more money from Valve. Lumi set just I got I need in. more money from Valve. I don't get any money from That's Valve. I want. True. I'm poor. Your players are not taking care of you, huh? They're really not. Meanwhile, they're all getting new cars. Yeah. No, meanwhile, they're all in chat spewing foreheads and shit. Yeah, they That's really what they're are. doing. Rule Watching f- us suffer through pauses. Rule five, two anneals, uh, baby rage, PJ salt. How doing? much does how much does Twitch pay you to like memorize the memes, the meme faces? I wish they paid me for it. Yeah. Like every time you tweet like a Twitch emoticon, do you get a bonus? I wish. I saw your little forehead tweet, and Charlie, now I'm getting a little suspicious. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think there's a little incentive for you, old chap. Oh, I'd definitely be selling out harder if they did that. <laughs> <laughs> Every five seconds. Yeah. All right. He's reconnecting. TC from DC says that we are ready when he's in, and we'll get another five minutes of gameplay. Yeah, if people paid me for my tweets, you'd know for sure. <laughs> 
I think Hotbid's probably the up there on the shameless list. I'm playing Dota. Here we go, we're underway. Woo! Hey. Bulbas in mid lane, they gotta get the fight happening now. They blinked in, they got the Doom on the Van. Van is dead, here we go. Wall's gonna break out right now. Smash is in trouble, Masoko's in trouble. They're both gonna be going down. Digital Chaos now sweep a big fight, and believe it or not, he almost made it out, but he does end up going down inside the base. And now, they will be able to clear out the tier two. Welcome back to the game. All right, so, uh, well, that's a 15,000 gold lead at 23 minutes, DC. They do not have the Aegis yet, completely forgot if they had Roached, but uh, with I the Winter's Curse of cooldown, the Wall on cooldown, not the easiest high ground, but they've got a lot of R's uh, here. I really don't think it matters yeah, at this point. I, they're so far ahead. I'm pretty sure that we just witnessed a game where we had more pause than the actual game, because they All can right. close this one game out right two here. Hype. Yeah, right? <laughs> here they go moving in. This Tier 3 is done for. I think, I think you just... E wolves call it now, and they they think about what one last do. ice blast. Are you serious? Just take, just DC, finish it. DC just finish it. Like Please. we saw it in the last series. We're not though. ready they yet. We're not ready. We'll take the range and walk away and wait for the next road. Sam, next don't ages. be a little girl. Just finish oh, the game. They do struggle to close out games, though. We saw it in the last series, especially in the game three. 15 to 5, your score. A 20,000 gold lead, 15,000 experience lead. DC back to the farm zone. Gotta go back. Roche is up now, though, so they don't have to wait too long for it to get back, and then they can move in there and get that Aegis. But they might need to wait until they get a pick off first. Gotta make sure all your ducks are in a row before you move on with this kind of game plan. Well, I guess Van's gonna be working on eggs. That's the thing, they wait longer. He has an eggs. Potentially this game uh, could get difficult. Is he gonna buy it? Buy your eggs! Buy your eggs! Buy your eggs! He got uh I can't, I'm so perplexed. He got graved. He's dead. Oh, 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 almost, oh, oh, oh. almost got him. Was mid cast animation. So one range rex down, DC. Easy rush for them, and they are gonna grab it. Alright, this should be enough for them to move on in. Having an extra life, not going to be too much to stop. No fear of that Necro Ags right now. He bought out for it. Do they have a Glimmer Cape? Yeah. Oh, no, that's, right. that's the Dire Side. No, they don't. I mean, that item is just countered by Glimmer Cape. But yeah. the Necro Ags? Yeah. yeah. As well as the AA to a large extent. So you think it'd be something they should consider? I mean, Spearbreaker has the money for one. He could grab it. Wyvern's getting close. Owie might consider one. Buru has money. Yeah, this Are you is sure most. This is digital chaos. This is the most farmed I've seen Buru at uh, this point in the game ever. I think so. Even I, in games where they were stomping, he doesn't him even on. know what to spend it on. He's four, two, and seven. What's the? This is what a game for him. Digital Chaos looking good here. Still a best of three, despite all the delays. A win does not secure advancement. They need a, t a two games to move on. For those who don't know what a best of three is. You know, trying to educate the chat. No problem, John Madden. Oh. Yep. Winner will play the loser of Unknown versus... Cloud9. Cloud9. And the game. <laughs> I mean, Elite Wolves are just kind of sitting and taking it. I feel like at this point, it's like, why don't you just go out with a bang? Smoke, run out there. Maybe you catch DC off I guard like, a bit. I like a lot of the flanking plays that yeah. th that certain teams do. You can you can attack their back line, um, grab some of the more important heroes. Uh-oh, TC. Gonna get frozen. He still has the Aegis, though. Not dead yet. They're charging in. Buryu dive in, gets the double bash. They're back back into a wall, and that's gonna discourage Smash from advancing. Blinky forward is TC. They curse Van. DC looking to close them out. You want Ice Blast only connecting on Buryu, who will get frozen. Now, they may back off Van, about to die. Glimmer Cape, not enough to save him. And that is a full lane of Rax caved in, and DC moved towards bottom and Smash tries to stop a TP home from the cow, will be unsuccessful. The Wolves. About uh, to lose That's the first Necro match. not able to show us what that Agnum's Reaper Scythe is all about. Digital Chaos just kind of. Execute perfectly, get a good dive in. 
And getting their face allows them to clear out the one set. Now they're going to go for the bottom and really I mean, not a whole lot. Lee they Wolf's should just do be about GG it. now. This is Maybe silly. They're, you know, they're probably thinking about the draft for game two right now. But DC will claim game one. I want to say hard fought, but I think that's just the pause is getting to me there. Pretty much their game from top to bottom here. Yep. I think and credit where credit's due. Bur, you had a huge impact on the landing stage. Oh, yeah. I, I agree with Charlie that he seems more comfortable on those kind of run at you aggressive early game heroes that don't need to mind their position as much. Um, I am not a big fan of Van being on Necrophos. Maybe they need to pick his hero earlier because there weren't a whole lot of options left. Yeah. I also think not banning Darkseer in the second ban stage was a mistake. They opted to ban Nightstalker, who to me is a strong hero, but especially because it was clear Wolves run into her on a strong, like a greedier hard carry from the draft, but they just felt at the end to me that they couldn't. And they had to get something that had better lading presence to do with the Darkseer, so. I think most of it from the Wolves side, they're going to look and probably feel like it wasn't the ideal draft for them. And I think from the DC side, they're just. They've stepped up their execution a lot. Andre's saying the Valve servers are fine according to them, but I don't know, man. <laughs> Clearly they're lagging. fine. I mean, we're lagging as well watching yeah. some of these games. Reborn? So. Something ain't right. Both teams from very different areas <laughs> are lagging. They're not going to farm their way back into this game. They have no Midas's. They're not leaving the base. They don't have a great late game hard carry. They are never say die. Go, go, go smoke or something if you're going to continue. <laughs> All right, this is the item they were waiting for, the smash eggs. There it is. Zoku, though, could be the first to go down. Nice little snowball KB. save. They're going for Biryu here. Got him with the ice blast. Oh, he will be KB, though. Looks to turn two back. heroes running at four, Bulba. and it's about to be more. He didn't get shackled. Focus fire onto him. They're going to get the bump back, and Bulba's gone. He's going to be Reaper Scythe out of the game. Without even being able to commit the wall in the vacuum here, but Smash also could be deleted. Doom's on him. He's going to be walking He's away with the grave. He needs to get denied. They're trying to heal him up. No, not going to happen. DC will step in and pop him down with a nuke. Oh, Snowball. the fountain dive. DC telling them to get out of the game, and Wolves will cooperate and call GG. That was a little bit longer than it needed to be, but DC looking good here. Yep. They secure their game one, and now we're just one game away from moving on. Elite Wolves, though. We'll need to shake things up. And it needs to start with the draft. Putting more priority onto maybe their cores first. I also like the way DC banned removing a lot of like the more hard carry playmaking mids for right. Smash. They banned TA. They think they banned Shadow Fiends. It's very targeted bans. Yeah. Um, and they also got rid of Ember. Even though we saw Van's Ember has leave something to be desired, Smash plays a great one. So, right. I think they definitely took them out of their comfort zone here. Yeah. Um. I guess they need to be a little bit smarter about um, when they pick their course. 